Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I was just out uh, gallivanting and uh, just uh, checking a, a little uh, historical site I drove by several times and never really stopped because it's really a really small area. Uh, but there's always a sign out by the road. I was always curious what it said, so I stopped here today to check it out. And th so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, so let's go check it out. Um, it's uh, located just north of Whitewater, Wisconsin. Uh, out in the middle of kind of nowhere. Uh, it's just about, uh, I don't know, just a few yards or feet or, or maybe like a quarter mile north of uh, the real McCoy's. It's a bar, restaurant kind of a place. Um, I just had lunch there, and so if you're ever in the area, stop at the Real McCoy's there and have lunch. It's really, really good lunch. Um, uh, I, I know the owners, uh, uh, Rick and Nancy. Rick has passed away now, but uh, Nancy is still running the place and doing a really good job at it. So check it out. Stop, and if you're ever in the area, tell Nancy that Wisconsin Greg sent you. Um, but I just wanted to check this park out, and uh, it's very, very small. That's why I never stopped, but I wanted to read the sign. So let's go check out that sign. Not sure if you're going to be able to read it because the sun is kind of shining towards my camera, but they call it Lincoln Hill here, and uh, it says towards the end of the Black Hill War on July 10th, 1832, Abraham Lincoln was honorably discharged from service in Cold Springs, which is right here, Cold Springs. Uh, he camped overnight in this immediate uh, vicinity. So right in this area, I'm not sure, you know, it could be off a little bit, but really, really close to this area, Abraham Lincoln camped here uh, overnight. Um, and I guess when he was here, it says his, his horse was stolen during the night. He walked and canoed home to New Salem, Illinois, a distance of about 250 miles. It's a long ways to be walking and canoeing home um, from you know back in that time in 1832 uh, I don't know what time of the year that would have been uh, hopefully it was in the warmer time of the summer or spring hopefully it wasn't winter time that would have been really bad uh, or early winter you know fall pretty cold it could have get could have got it doesn't really say what time of the year it was so just a little bit of interesting piece of history I'm just gonna pan you around this park just real quick here so you can get an idea what it is it's very small uh, but just thought the history was kind of cool. The address, N 1501, Cold Spring. The sign out here by the road also. But very, very small park. They do have like a, a hand pump well here. It's not a spring water, but I don't know if people come here and get water like they do at the spring water places or not. But I haven't seen anybody come here in a little time little bit of time I've been here. They do have a shelter here. It's got a sign on the thing that says that you can rent this out if you want to have a little party here. So that way you can reserve it, I guess. Also a little uh, charcoal grill. If you want to cook out, do some cooking out. Here's the hand pump if you want to pump your water here. You've got some dishes to wash off while you're cooking here or want to get a drink of water or whatever. And they got a little bathroom back here. And a little swings. That's about it. Very, very small. But thought the history was pretty cool. That Abraham Lincoln stayed right in this area at one time. And his horse got stolen. This is where the, what they called the Burnt Village used to stand way, way years ago. I'll show you a sign that tells about it here in just a minute. But pretty interesting. A lot of history here in Wisconsin, I guess. Still learning. I'm 60 years old, and there's still stuff I there's still a whole lot to see out here. Never can see all of it. 
This is just about two miles north of the last little park I was at, and there's another historical marker, so I wanted to include that uh, with this. Uh, this is the Black Hawk War Encampment, um, called it Burnt Village, I guess. Uh, a large Ho-Chunk Winnebago village dating from the 1700s uh, once stood in this vicinity just before 1832 Black Hawk War. The village was burned during an intra tribal battle on July 6th and 8th. The United States military camped at this site in their pursuit of Black Hawk and named this place Burnt Village. So another little piece of history dating way way back. So just thought I'd include that. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Bye now.